I am WWE superstar Charlotte Flair watching The Revolution. Guys, there is so much intrigue here heading into this fatal four-way match. That's what you get, Michael, when you have four superstars who can legitimately win this thing. And introducing the challenger from Glasgow, Scotland, I Love Dawn. Byron, what's the thought process for these superstars heading into this fatal four-way match? Well, you almost always see alliances form in matches like this. So for these superstars, it'll be important to make sure they're not on the wrong end of those alliances. And introducing the challenger from Lisbon, Portugal, the legend killer, Kelly. Guys, we have four of WWE's biggest names set to do battle here tonight. And Michael, I can realistically see any one of these four superstars winning this match, which is what makes this match so unpredictable. And introducing the champion from Australia, she is the NXT European Women's Champion. Guys, I hope you're ready champion, because it's now time for Reed fatal four-way action. And this one Rip should be exciting, Michael, Reed. especially considering all the different styles we'll have at play here tonight. And we're underway. Fatal four ways can be very dangerous, hence the name. A participant wants to stay out of harm's way as much as possible, and whenever possible, let your opponents do the work for you. Yeah, but these oh, competitors man. will have their hands full, Cole. In a fatal four way, you have to have your head on the swivel at all times. Oh no, she's in a bad way now.
The human body can only absorb so much of that. Oh, she wants this win bad. Here we go, inverted DDT! Fight! Wow, that's any indication she's not taking any prisoners in this one. Oh no, she's in a bad way now. The challenge is starting to slow down a bit here. But I'd be surprised if she doesn't find a way back in control of this thing. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to be concerned for her yet, Cole. She seems to have plenty of fight left in her. Gotta make a move here. Yeah, the longer this goes on, the greater the chance of escape. Well, after the ankle here. Oh, no! An ankle breaker! When you're a superstar in a fatal four-way match for a coveted WWE Championship, or to be number one contender, or just to settle a score, there are times you could be in there with a tag team partner, a friend, or an ally. I don't subscribe to such things, but remember in a fatal four-way singles match, it's about every superstar for themselves. And there's the kick out. She came here to fight, not lay down. And it's reversed. When we talk about fatal four-way matches, and Corey, you mentioned this before, everyone is battling for themselves. Alliances are fleeting, and a rivalry can be conceived or renewed at any time. There are instances when friends have to battle one another if they are to achieve everything they want to in sports entertainment. Michael, that's true. As we've seen in the past, sometimes you have friends, even members of a brotherhood, clash in a fatal four-way matchup. Think back to what we saw at 2015's Payback when Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose ended up throwing down. There are two things that are crucial for success in a fatal four-way match, being resourceful and timing. And one is really the product of the other. There are so many things in this type of match a superstar has to keep in mind. And no count out and no disqualification means anything can happen and it's all legal. That's a difficult scenario any way you look at it, especially when you're going up against three other opponents. Byron, earlier you talked about the importance. She goes for the cover. Not enough to end this one. Gonna take more than that. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. She's looking at it. Oh, Lariat. She got it. Here's a cover. That was impressive. History was made on Monday Night Raw the night after 2016 SummerSlam event. It was a special fatal four-way elimination match to crown a new Universal Champion. Victory could only be achieved by pinfall or submission. Either Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, Roman Reigns, or Big Cass would leave the new Universal Champion. The talents are not looking good right now. There is definitely a big fight feel, a main event feel that night on Raw. Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, Roman Reigns, and Big Cass collided in an epic battle. Each superstar tried to be as calculated as possible in their attacks. The WWE Universe looked on in awe when Roman Reigns dove over the top rope out on the floor and dropped Big Cass in KO. And it looked like Big Cass asserted his dominance. Kevin Owens eliminated the... This could be all she wrote. She's not done. Ooh! This is all but over. She's humming like a well-oiled machine. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Not so fast. Got it. I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. And the big boot lands. Oh, oh my goodness, crushing it. Not today. There's no recovering from that. Down to the floor. Well done. The championship is in serious jeopardy, guys. Shoulders down! She might have it. Air raid crash! If that doesn't end it, I don't know what. Looking for all the glory here. Two! Three! The cover. And this one's history. What a win. Well, it wasn't literally fatal, but it was pretty close. Take a look. I can watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch.
When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. Here is your winner and new NXT European Women's Champion. I love Dawn. Big win despite absorbing a huge amount of punishment there. To be able to fend off three other women like that is truly an amazing accomplishment. Guys, I have to say, that was an amazing match.